Hello everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Um, today I wanted to show you I actually just got a brand new Insignia color changing USB recording microphone. Um, this, this is fantastic. It'll actually change different colors. So I'm going to show you all the steps that you need to take to connect it to your computer and record with it. So the first thing obviously is you go ahead and take it out of the box. And then there's a uh, USB cable that plugs into the back here and then you would plug it directly into a USB port on your computer. Now if for some reason you don't have the USB-A connector, it's not a problem. You can easily get a USB-C to USB-A connector. It, I'll include a picture of that for you. That's what that connector would look like. You can also get a USB-C hub that would have a USB-A connector. So what you want to do is you want to connect that directly to your computer, your Mac, and then you would want to go to the Apple menu and go to System Preferences, go to Sounds, and then under the input you would want to change it to the NS underscore LCBM 22 and the type would be USB. This microphone is fantastic. I've, I already like it. Um, as you can see, the input level immediately changes as I'm talking. Um, you can adjust how sensitive it is so it can make the input louder or quieter. You can also connect a headphone to it if you'd like to listen to yourself as you're talking. And then you can also change the color. So I can press this button right here and I can change the color from blue to green and then over to red. And then you can make it purple, you can make it yellow. There's a bunch of colors. There's teal, there's a light green, and then there's one that just goes through all the colors. Um, or obviously, if you don't like it at all, you can just turn it off. You know, if you have any questions, please let me know. But I've been very pleased with this microphone so far. Uh, so one way that you could actually use it and record is uh, so what you would want to do is open up QuickTime Player on your Mac. If you can't find it, just go to Finder, go to your Applications, scroll down towards the bottom, and look for QuickTime Player. And there it is. So you would want to open up QuickTime Player, and once you open it, you can go to file and you can do a new audio recording, a new movie recording, or a new screen recording. When you start that, it'll give you the option to choose what input you would like to use. And all you have to do is you can click on the little arrow and then choose the NS underscore LCBM 22. And then you can choose for high quality or maximum quality if you're wanting to do an audio recording. If you were to do a screen recording, it would be the same way. And then you would just hit start and you click anywhere on the screen. Uh, this is one easy way to record using this microphone. Another way is you can use another program called Audacity. It works just as well. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, I'll include a link below in the description so that you can download that if you'd like. But both of these options are completely free and the Audacity even works with Windows computers as well. And you can record audio, you can record your screen with QuickTime Player as well as the audio. And so I think this is just fantastic for those people who would like to record something. Maybe they want to read a book to their children or their grandchildren and have it forever so that they can go back and listen to it. Maybe you want to do podcasts or maybe you want to actually start reading some books that you've created yourself. I hope this is really helpful to you. I've enjoyed it and I really appreciate every single one of you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to answer those. And also, please like and subscribe so that the next time I post a video, you'll be notified about it. Thanks again and I hope you have a great day. Bye. <music>